Hey, hey, we did it. So, I was trying to figure out how to take this hydraulic motor off the electric motor. And then, so of course, what do you do? You start taking out all the bolts you can find. So, but then it still didn't come off, of course, because it's fitted on here. So, a hammer did the trick. Um, yeah. And it's really interesting, actually, because I would have figured there'd be some kind of shielding or something right here, but it, it looks like literally, you can see it's moving, literally the, that bearing interfacing with the hydraulic pump is the only thing that keeps it on here. And you can see the casting, casting prints. You can see where the screws went in, right there. I can keep it in frame. But it's really interesting because literally the you have a point of failure where this seal right here is the only thing keeping your hydraulic fluid from leaking. Because if it gets past the seal, it does have to get past the sealed bearing, but eventually it would do that. And then it's going to get into your motor. And once it's in your motor, there's... This is all just cast and machined. So you just have hydraulic fluid leaking out. So, interesting. But yeah, they even have a little connector right here. I guess a vibration dampener, maybe? Something? Because then that interface is there. This inter this is what interfaces with the pump. I don't know why you wouldn't just... I guess maybe the shaft was a certain length and they may have needed to extend it or something. Um, but yeah, that's cute. I love that they put an O-ring on here. An O-ring on there to keep it from leaking. I guess you would have had to, because this is going to be full of fluid right here. So that'll keep it from bypassing. But then they only have one shaft seal on there. That's the only thing keeping the oil from getting out. So, interesting. Sometimes.